All right, guys, so some very exciting news. The Unilever professional certificates just dropped. This is the Unilever supply chain data analyst professional certificate and the Unilever digital marketing analyst professional certificate. And if you want to check either of these out, by the way, I will put the links down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. You can check them out there. But this is basically one of the latest large, well-known organizations to partner with Coursera and offer these certificates. And if you're not familiar how these certificates work, basically this started a few years ago when Google partnered with Coursera and they dropped the Google IT support professional certificate. And I did a video on that uh, years ago. And when I did the video at the time, I was really bullish on it. I thought it was really awesome, but it actually turned out to be even better than I thought because I got so much positive feedback from my audience of different people who tried it. And there were literally people that were getting jobs with just a simple, cheap certificate that doesn't cost that much money. And ever since then, I've been even more bullish on these types of certificates because they really do get results and they're just incredible value for the money. But let's talk about this specific certificate, right? Because that's why you came to the video. It just dropped. There's not a lot of data out there on it, but there is some initial feedback and some initial thoughts that I have about it which I will be talking about in this video. Hey guys, in the editing process right now, but quick pause to give you a special deal from Coursera. You can make your next career move with confidence with Coursera Plus. That means unlimited access to learning programs from top companies and universities, including Google, Microsoft, Meta, Yale, and more for less than $1 per day. For a limited time only, get $100 off your annual subscription to Coursera Plus. If you're interested in starting a new career in a high growth field, you'll gain the freedom to explore skills and careers like cybersecurity, data analytics, and more. Click the link on the description as well as the pinned comment below. Now, if you aren't aware of kind of like who Unilever is, they're basically a massive British multinational company that typically focuses on consumer goods. So some Unilever products include baby foods, uh, beauty supplies, bottled water, Water, breakfast cereals, cleaning agents, condiments, energy drinks, healthcare and hygiene products, etc. And some of their largest brands include Ben and Jerry's Dove and Axe body spray, right? You know, the, the body spray where you spray it on and then all the girls start running towards you like in the commercials. Yep, they actually own that. And guess what? There are a lot of businesses out there that still operate in consumer goods, right? A lot of different e-com brands, for instance, operate in consumer goods. They sell lots of different physical products and there's a ton of money in it. And so as as a data analyst or a digital marketing analyst like these two certificates would make you, there are certain things about working in the physical product or consumer goods or e-com brand type of businesses that are gonna be different than other types of digital marketing analyst or data analyst positions. And so it can really help to be specialized, especially if you want to work with physical products, consumer goods, et cetera, in this type of digital marketing or this type of data analysis, right? So you wanna be smart about how you plan these things out. So if you want to work for a consumer goods type of company, this is just going to look a lot better on your resume than other types of certificates that aren't related to consumer goods. All right, so first let's go over the supply chain data analyst professional certificate. So by the way, before we get started, they do have some things that they recommend for you to be familiar with before you start the certificate. And that background knowledge that is necessary is actually nothing, but they do recommend experience with spreadsheets such as Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets and presentation slides such as Microsoft PowerPoint or Google Slides is a plus, but not required. Then when it comes to who the program is for, they say this program is designed for entry-level professionals looking to start a new career as a supply chain analyst, professionals thinking of making a career switch, business administration graduates, and professionals with strong problem solving, time management, interpersonal, and organizational skills. Now, by the way, in terms of how much this costs, it costs about $49 per month. And when you consider the fact that just about any other way of getting a job out there is gonna be much more expensive, for instance, college costs over $100,000, especially in the US. Um, if you go to a boot camp, it's gonna cost at least $10,000, probably a, not, a lot more than that if it's a good boot camp. So $49 per month, is absolutely ridiculous. And I think they also offer some scholarships and some discounts uh, depending on where you buy the course from. So if you're from another country, uh, I think they do give some scholarships out and stuff like that to pay for that, some financial aid. So that's something you could look into. And basically their plan here is to launch your new career in supply chain data analytics, build job ready skills to be a supply chain data analyst and gain credentials to go from beginner to job ready in four months or less. And they say that no degree or experience is required. 
So an overview of the course is it is a professional certificate and it's a four course series. They do say that it is beginner level and they say that it'll probably take four months at about 10 hours per week. Now, this is kind of funny that they say four months because a lot of the other certificates on Coursera say that they take six months, but in reality, many of them only take a few weeks up to maybe two months or so to complete. So the fact that they say it takes four months, that tells me that chances are you can complete it a lot faster than that. I'm guessing it's going to be something like a month or maybe even less than that. It's also flexible schedule. Pretty much all the certificates that I've covered on this channel from Coursera are flexible schedule. So you can basically learn at your own pace. And the courses that you would go through with this would be course one, supply chain management and analytics. Course two, user data analytics and supply chain. Course three, implementing supply chain analytics. And course four, supply chain softwares. So I'm not going to rate this yet because it hasn't really fully formed and we haven't gotten feedback on it and stuff like that. But when it comes to the time to completion on this one, it's going to be very fast, right? It's tough to go from a beginner to job ready in four months and realistically probably a lot faster than that. There's not that many things out there where you can do that. And the only reason they have these courses up is because college has basically failed us. College is pumping out people with these degrees that aren't necessarily teaching skills that are useful in the job market. That's why these companies are popping up, even big companies companies like Unilever, Google, Meta, etc. They're popping up and they're coming out with these certificates because they're just like, dude, we cannot find enough people who have these skills. And so we're just going to train a bunch of people who have these skills. And then there's going to be more people out there on the market. So they want people trained fast and they want to be able to give them jobs, right? So time to completion, I'm going to give this one two big thumbs up for that. Because I mean, if you think about it, boot camps typically last like anywhere from, you know, three months to over a year. College lasts four years. If you get an advanced degree at could last like eight years or even 12 years. So being able to be job ready in four months is extremely impressive. Now, when it comes to the cost, college costs like $80,000, boot camps cost like $10,000. This certificate costs about $49 a month, which is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, by the way, if you sign up with Coursera, you can also take a bunch of other certificates that are super valuable as well. And if you're not 100% sure that you wanna do it, you kinda wanna test the waters out, you know, dip your toe in a little bit. Well, that's great because Coursera actually has a seven day free trial. So you can try it out completely free if you'd like to. So yeah, when it comes to the cost, absolutely ridiculous. I mean, what Coursera has been doing is amazing. They're honestly doing a service for a society, um, allowing people to take these different certificates. And you know, one thing that's great about the certificates besides the cost is just the fact that you can kind of dip your toe in a bunch of different types of careers. And you can kind of see like, huh, what is this like? Usually they have instructors that are actually from the company. So those are real people who are doing the jobs and they recently learned this information because a lot of these jobs, you know, the information that pops up is only just a few years old. So the information is cutting edge and you're learning this information from people who are in the trenches actually doing the job, not a college professor that did the job 15 years ago or 20 years ago. And they're trying to teach you how to do it. And they're teaching you skills that are completely irrelevant. So yeah, Coursera is amazing. And when it comes to the cost, I have to give this one two big thumbs up as well. When it comes to the demand, I think we all know how in demand supply chain related jobs were a couple years back when the supply chains broke down. And there's a bunch of different supply chain related jobs out there. So just to name a few, logistics managers, supply chain managers, logistics analysts, supply chain analysts, procurement manager, inventory manager, purchasing manager, supply chain director, and buyer. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I find supply chain related topics to be a little bit boring myself. I don't think it's everybody's cup of tea. But with that being said, there's a ton of opportunity here, probably partially because a lot of people don't really like it. But it's incredibly valuable to society. I mean, supply chains are just absolutely 100% necessary. And I think it was Napoleon, he had a quote, something along the lines of amateur generals focus on tactics, whereas pros focus on logistics. So logistics, supply chain has always been incredibly important. There's always going to be a lot of demand for it. So I'll give this one one thumbs up. It's still really good, but I definitely want to see more and I want to see kind of like the outcomes before I give it two thumbs up. Then when it comes to salary, supply chain related jobs are really good. So just kind of looking on BLS, for instance, BLS doesn't have that many jobs, but one that's kind of similar to supply chain is logistician, and they make about $77,000 a year. And then on top of that, going back to the whole demand thing, it is growing at 18%, which is much faster 
than average. So that adds to the demand thing. You know what? Maybe I'll give it two thumbs up now. Just kidding. No, just kidding. I'm still going to give it one thumbs up. But yeah, that's definitely a good sign. The big problem with BLS is they don't have that many careers and they kind of group together a bunch of different careers sometimes. But if you look at some other jobs that are kind of related to this, logistics managers make about sixty-two dollars to $102,000 a year. Supply chain analysts make about sixty-six dollars to $94,000 a year. Purchasing managers make seventy-four dollars to $123,000 a year. Procurement managers make $103,000 to $169,000 dollars a year and supply chain directors make 172 to 282 thousand dollars a year so yeah when it comes to the salary lots of very high paying jobs there i'm gonna give this one two thumbs up i mean logistics is there's a lot of great paying careers in logistics it's just kind of boring and a lot of people don't want to do it but maybe it's not boring for you all right so let's talk about the production value slash engagement first of all it's presented by the unilever team and there's really not much known about it, but you know what we do know is it's gonna be presented by different employees at Unilever or people who are associated with Unilever. And these are definitely gonna be experts. These are always people from what I've seen on Coursera that are in the trenches doing it themselves. These are not people that did it 10 or 20 or 30 years ago, and now they're trying to teach people stuff that doesn't work anymore. That's not something you have to worry about with Coursera. It is something you have to worry about with college a lot of the time. So when it comes to the production value or engagement, I can't really give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down um, just because we don't know yet, right? It's too new. Next, let's talk about chances of landing you a job. There are a lot of opportunities at the lower levels in supply chain, but some of those lower level jobs, you do kind of have to cut your teeth. You have to prove yourself and they're not gonna be the highest paying jobs, but there definitely are opportunities at those lower levels. And then you can kind of work your way up into some of those higher paying jobs. Some of them, you know, I was talking about make over 200K per year. So when it comes to its chances of landing you a job, we can't speak too much on this one because it's so new but with that being said with Coursera's track record with a lot of their other certificates they do give you a really good puncher's chance of landing a job now is it going to do all the work for you some certificates actually yes you can just get a job with just a certificate alone other certificates might get you 50 percent of the way or 80 percent of the way there and then you maybe have to do a portfolio outside that you know and help yourself in other ways but when you consider you know what you're getting for 49 dollars a month i mean that gets you a lot of the way I mean, in many cases, it'll get you all the way to like third base. And then all you have to do is just run the extra base yourself. So it's pretty freaking good and pretty freaking impressive in terms of what you're getting. So when it comes to the chances of landing you a job, we don't know much about this one yet, but I'm going to go ahead and give this one one thumbs up for now. And when I review this one later, I'll probably go over it again in a future video. Once there's more data on it, more reviews, um, you know, I'll actually give a number out of 10. So definitely stay tuned for that video. Next is what value does it offer? So value is basically how much do you get out for what you put in? That's essentially what value is. And considering the fact that you're putting in $49 a month and you are probably doing this for anywhere between one to four months max, that means you're spending about $200 max on this certificate. The value you get for that and the fact that you're able to do it so quickly and actually have a chance to get a job is insanely high. I mean, just absolutely mind-bogglingly high. And that's why I'm so high on these certificates and I absolutely love them. And I talk about them whenever new ones come out and they're on the channel and I really like them. By the way, guys, you know, I am affiliated with Coursera. You can click the affiliate links down in the description or the pinned comment below if you wanna check them out. Uh, if you end up buying it, I will get a small percentage. If you don't wanna do that, you can always just type in Coursera, type in the name of whatever the certificate is. If you just don't wanna give me uh, an affiliate percentage, that's totally fine, right? I just wanna be totally open and honest with you guys. I talked about these certificates before I was ever affiliated with them, actually a long time before I was affiliated with them. And I said really good things about them and then I just really liked them. And so we ended up making a deal and I got affiliated with them. So yeah, overall, this certificate is looking amazing. I can't give it two thumbs up yet just because there's not that much data out on it, but I'm really excited about this one. So I'm definitely gonna give it one big thumbs up. Now, quickly moving on to the Unilever Digital Marketing Analyst Professional Certificate. A lot of the stuff is gonna be about the same. The overview of the course, this one is actually faster. So it only takes two months at 10 hours per week. It's also beginner level. It's also flexible and it's a four course series. The first one is customer understanding and digital marketing channels. The second one is measurement and analysis. The third one is campaign performance reporting, visualization, and improvement.
improvement. And the fourth one is advanced tools for digital marketing analytics. So when it comes to the time to completion, I mean, just bonkers. I mean, I have to give it two thumbs up right away because it says two months at 10 hours per week. And we all know that Coursera certificates, if they say six months, a lot of the time it takes anywhere from a few weeks to like a few, you know, a couple months. So if it says two months, you could probably get this thing done really quickly. You know, maybe they changed the way they did it. It's possible, but you know, just from all the information that we've gotten in the past, it's looking really good. So you could probably get this one done in a few weeks. So yeah, definitely two thumbs up on that. When it comes to the cost, it's gonna be two thumbs up because of the same exact cost, $49 a month, absolutely ridiculous cost. When it comes to the demand, the demand for digital marketers and digital marketing analysts is expected to grow by 10% in the next 10 years. So there's a lot of opportunities for digital marketers out there. Now, what makes this particular certificate so interesting is it's sort of a little bit more specialized. Not that they, you know, make it specialized per se, but just the perception of it, in my opinion, is going to be a little more specialized towards consumer goods, online products, e-commerce brands. And, and this is a good thing, guys, because the more specialized you get, the more likely people are going to be impressed with your certificate and your specialization, and the more likely they're going to hire you. So I do think that increases the demand a bit. But with that being said, you can't say for sure just because of the fact that there's not that much information out there. It's brand new. But there are so many different types of digital marketing jobs you can get and digital marketing analyst jobs you can get. I mean, I'm not even gonna say all of them. I'll just put an example of a bunch of them up on the screen. You can pause the video if you'd like. Again, with the demand, you know, we're gonna have to wait until we see what the results of this certificate are. You can only speculate at this point, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it one big thumbs up. Salary is next and digital marketing related jobs tend to have really nice salaries. So just in the, as an example, BLS, they always group together a bunch of different careers, but but advertising promotions and marketing managers make about $138,000 a year. SEO specialists, according to Glassdoor, make about $54,000 to $91,000 a year. Digital marketing analysts make about $62,000 to $93,000 a year. Even a lower level position like digital marketing assistant makes about $43,000 to $63,000 a year. So when it comes to the salary, that's pretty good, especially for something that you can get into so freaking fast. I'm definitely going to have to give it two thumbs up, especially when you consider the fact that it doesn't take very long to get into this and you don't really need to have any previous skills or anything like that. Next is the production value or engagement. And like I said before, we don't know what the production value is going to look like because it's, you know, just coming out. Super excited to see uh, how it turns out, but we don't know at this point. So I can't give any thumbs up on this one or thumbs down. Then let's talk about the chances of landing you a job. Now, I happen to know that digital marketing analyst is one of the easier positions for people to get a job with. So as much as we don't know about this course, and as much as we don't know exactly how long it's gonna take, and we don't really have any reviews on it or anything like that, I happen to know it's relatively easy to get digital marketing jobs. And so I am fairly confident that people are gonna be able to get jobs after taking this course. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give it two thumbs up right now, but I'll wait before I give it a ranking from one out of 10. Next, what value does it offer overall? Again, guys, it's just absolutely ridiculous the value that these courses offer. I mean, look at what this teaches you. It teaches you how to prepare for entry level digital marketing, digital marketing analysts, SEO, content marketing, or CRM roles. And you learn how to use marketing planning frameworks to develop digital marketing campaigns, segment customers, and create customer journey maps, utilize Google Analytics for, for SEO analysis, custom reports, and conversion events, analyze data to unearth actionable insights and increase overall performance, including ROI, and leverage marketing automation tools to scale campaigns. And you get to learn all of that, which is super valuable stuff. And it's actually stuff that companies need right now, right? It's not stuff that companies needed 10 or 15 years ago, like most of the colleges teach. This is the stuff that companies actually want right now. And you get to learn all of that for $49 a month. So the value, obviously, it's going to be two thumbs up. That's just ridiculous. There's nothing else out there like that, that actually gives you a puncher's chance of landing you a job. Or in this case, honestly, I think more than a puncher's chance, because I know that digital marketing and digital marketing analyst type jobs, are relatively easy to land. So yeah, overall at this point with the Digital Marketing Analyst Certificate by Unilever, again, we're gonna have to wait and see what the data says and what the reviews say after it comes out. I'm really excited for people to try this and keep reporting back to me. Definitely comment down below uh, once you've tried it. And maybe if your friends have tried it or something like that, give your opinions on you know how good it was. But I'm gonna go ahead and give it a two thumbs up expectation. I think this is really excited that they're getting into the game. And what makes it really exciting, like I said, 
said before, guys, is they're a very specialized type of company. And so they're going to be teaching you a particular type of data analytics and a particular type of digital marketing that these types of companies need. Because different types of companies, like software companies, the way they do digital marketing is completely different than the way e-commerce or consumer brand companies do digital marketing. It's just a completely different ballgame. And so the fact that they're specializing on that type of digital marketing is really exciting. And I think it's going to be an incredibly good learning experience for a lot of people out there. So like I said before, guys, check out the certificates down below. Give it a look. If you want to try it out, seven day free trial, no worries whatsoever. You can just try it for free for seven days. And then after that, it's $49 a month. Now, by the way, if you enjoyed this video and you're interested in getting a remote job, I actually did a video on 11 of the highest paying certificates that will actually land you a remote job. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.